Hello, say hi to a happy day and enjoy listening while I read to you a story. Tiana's is growing experiment. Tiana sighed and hung up the phone. I've called every pepper farmer in the state of Louisiana and none of them have what I'm looking for, she told Naveen. Tiana took a magazine off the counter and showed it to him. I read about ghost peppers in this article. I wanted to try them in my jambalaya. The problem is, they're from India. No one grows them here. As Naveen went upstairs, Tiana slowly flipped through the pages of the magazine. Suddenly, something caught her eye. There, at the bottom of the credits this page was an address for one of the Indian farmers the magazine writer had visited for the article. Tiana decided to write them a letter and ask if they would be willing to sell her some seeds for the peppers. A few weeks later, Tiana was cooking up a batch of gumbo when Naveen came into the restaurant and handed her an envelope. As she opened it, a small packet fell to the floor. Tiana set it aside and began to read the letter aloud. Dear Princess Tiana, we have heard tales of your famous food and are honored that you would like to use the ghost pepper in your cuisine. Enclosed, please find the seeds you will need to grow them. Tiana couldn't wait to get started. There was just one problem. She knew how to cook a pepper, but she'd never grown anything before. She decided to make a stop at the library to check out a few books all about gardening. By the end of the evening, she felt ready to start her garden. The next morning, she went to the market to buy supplies. She found pots, gloves, a trowel, and watering can. Then, she ordered dirt and fertilizer to be delivered to the restaurant. Back at the restaurant, Tiana went up to the roof deck. She was going to turn the space into her garden. Once everything she needed had been delivered, Tiana got started. Each morning before the restaurant opened, Tiana checked on her peppers. I hope I planted them correctly, she told Naveen one night. What if they don't grow? They will, Naveen said. Just be patient. Finally, one morning, she saw a spot of green. Tiana was so excited to see her peppers start to grow that she decided to try her hand at growing other things too. A few days later, Tiana was planting her new vegetables when she heard a familiar voice. Tia, are you up here? Tiana looked up just as Charlotte opened the door to the roof. What on earth are you doing? You're completely covered in dirt. It's filthy up here. Tiana smiled at her friend. Welcome to my garden, Lottie. Want to help? You want me to touch that? Charlotte asked. There could be bugs in there. Uh, Come on, Charlotte. It's just a little dirt. Naveen said with a wink, and Tiana's having fun. In fact, She's having so much fun, I'm thinking of trying it. Charlotte looked over at Naveen. You're going to get your hands all dirty? I'm getting out of here before any of that filth gets on my new dress. Naveen followed Charlotte back down the steps, but a few minutes later, he returned with a cucumber. Okay, what do I do? Well, first, you have to get the seeds out of it. Tiana said. In the kitchen, she explained that the seeds would have to be washed and then dried for a few days. A few days? Naveen cried. But I wanted to work in the garden with you today. What was it you told me? Be patient, she said, smiling. Just then, Louise came into the kitchen looking for a snack. 
Did I hear someone say garden? He asked. Can I try? Tiana smiled at the friendly alligator. Of course you can, she said. A few days later, Tiana tended to her ex existing plants while Naveen and Louise got busy planting their crops. But Naveen wasn't finding gardening so easy. Fortunately, with Tiana's help, Naveen fixed his spots. Then day after day, the trio trooped up to the roof to check on their plants. Hey, look at that, Naveen shouted. Look at what? Charlotte asked. She had come up to the roof to find her friends. My cucumbers, Naveen said. I did it. All that dirt really doesn't bother you? She asked. Naveen shrugged. Honestly, it's kind of fun. It's messy, but look what I have to show for it. Charlotte wandered around the roof looking at everyone's plants. Wow, Tia, she said. Those peppers are really getting big. And Louis, those radishes do look tasty. You all seem to be having so much fun. Maybe getting a little dirty isn't so bad, she paused to consider. Okay, I'm in, she announced a moment later. But I want to grow something pretty, like flowers. Tiana walked over to her friend. Come on, Lottie. We'll go to the market and find you the perfect flowers to grow. The next morning, Charlotte put on an old dress and covered it with the biggest apron she could find. Tiana laughed when she saw her friend. I think you may be a little overdressed, Lottie, she said. Charlotte shook her head. I said I'd touch the dirt. I didn't say I was going to let the dirt touch me. Now come on, show me what to do. Over the next few weeks, everyone spent as much time as they could working on their plants. Even Charlotte got excited when she saw her flowers start to bloom. Look at that, she said. They're so pretty. Naveen surveyed the roof. There were pots everywhere. What are we going to do with all these vegetables? He asked. Tiana smiled. Leave it to me, she said. Meet me back here at 5 o'clock on Monday night. That Monday, the friends gathered on the roof. Charlotte gasped as she looked around. Tia, she said, you turned all your vegetables into dinner. Tiana smiled. I realized we had grown the perfect ingredients for a summer salad, and for anyone daring enough to try it, the first batch of my new jambalaya recipe, guaranteed to set your mouth on fire. The end. I hope you enjoy listening to the story, Tiana's growing experience, experiment. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!